film's director, John Lee Hancock. when we started uh, shooting this movie that we would be premiering here in London uh, in Leicester Square. I would said they were crazy, but here we are. So something has happened and I'm a very, very blessed person. And when you see the people that uh, are going to join me on stage, you'll really fully understand why. So thank you, Amanda, Claire, London Film Festival for hosting this. There's not a better spot for us to be and we're so excited to see this film with you guys. Um, couple of very quick words because we're very excited to see the movie and so I'm not going to drag this on, but I wanted to say thank you to Disney and especially to Tendon Agenda and Sean Bailey who really protected this project and allowed us to make Kelly Marcel's beautiful script unfettered. And with that, I'm going to pull up my only, my only shot list of the movie that I was given. Um, and I'm going to introduce some people. First, uh, some people that aren't going to be up here, two producers that were incredibly helpful uh, and committed to the project and involved long before I ever showed up. Uh, Paul Trivitz and Christine Langen, and they're in the audience here. Um, next, I would like to introduce uh, someone who is my partner in crime, co-conspirator, uh, she has far better taste than I do, and I'm blessed to have her as a friend and a partner on this. Uh, the relentless and wonderful Allison Owen. <laughs> Next, someone who also predated me by a long time. Stay out here, stay here, I'll stay here. Uh, go, go. Yeah, boss producers are on. Uh, next is a producer that's, that got the ball rolling for us in Australia long before I was involved with Hopscotch. And uh, we owe a, a, a large debt to Hopscotch, and in particular, Ian Colley. Um, next, uh, something uh, that, uh, that Tom Hanks called our Gutenberg Bible, and I thought that was actually fairly accurate. Um, it was written by uh, the one and only fantastic screenwriter of this, Kelly Marcel. Um, Kelly also acted as a casting director of sorts for Ruth Wilson, they met in an elevator and Kelly said, I have a script you should read. And they went and had a cocktail and um, Ruth uh, signed on to the movie and said, from now on when I go to Hollywood, I'm just going to ride elevators up and down. <laughs> Ruth Wilson. Uh, the next is a man I've known for a long time, admired for a long time, loved for a long time. He fought to be in this movie almost as hard as I fought to have him in this movie, Colin Farrell. <laughs> Casting Walt Disney is hard, even when you're just dealing with two weeks in 1961. There's a large shadow there. Um, immediately, uh, one name came to mind, and thankfully, when I went and sat down with him, he said, do you love the script? And I said, yes. And he said, we're not going to change it, are we? No. And he said, do you want to shake on that? And I said, yep. And he said, let's do it. His name is Tom Hanks. <laughs> and last, someone who I really do um, appreciate so much and consider a true partner in this in this enterprise and someone that I've learned so much from. And um, as fine uh, a talent as she is, she's even a better person, Emma Thompson. I know I've got the microphone, but I don't want you to panic. I'm not going to waste your time being grateful to anyone. Um, <laughs> one, one thing to say, I know we're all just so desperate now. Um, you know, it was just the, something my husband said this morning. He said, isn't it interesting that you've created a, you know, you've written and created a sort of magical nanny, and that you're playing someone who's 
created and written a magical nanny. And he said, do you suppose that means that behind every magical nanny there's a cantankerous, difficult, opinionated old <laughs> <laughs> That was a good start to the day. And talking of cantankerous, Tom Hanks. <laughs> I think, personally, that we should put him on the fourth plinth. <laughs> and like any Londoners, to explain that, let me know from Dr. watch this film, I actually forgot we don't we'd be here to see a film. Um, but um, this last night, Sean Bailey, um, who's terribly important and um, runs Disney and has his own ears, um, he <laughs> gave a cocktail party um, and we, we all had a thing and there were lots and lots of people from Disney here. I mean they brought over practically the entire corporation and um, which is thrilling. Uh, I'll be talking like that, I was quite a little lover duck over there, so it's just so that they feel they the real London and not, you know, <laughs> made up, less. But anyway, it's very touching because, um, actually, unexpectedly, uh, this rather independent-minded film by Bob, um, about uh, an old lady, really, uh, is being made by this extraordinary behemoth of a corporation and has been an extraordinary journey for all of us. And we all, together, had this amazing time that was very um, touching. And to be in London opening it for the world premiere of something we feel, we all feel the same way about, all of us, is very, very moving and makes, I'm not very sentimental as you know, but um, it's made me, made my eyes itch a bit. So enjoy it and let's go and watch the damn thing. Right.